Okay, now back to the phasing. Um, let's create some, uh, let's add some construction dates to the buildings. So let's say that these four buildings will be built in 2025. Uh, okay, right now nothing happened. This is because no building has been previously assigned a date. Uh, what just happened in the background is Modeler updated the development timeline uh, to 2025 because these are only the, the, the only buildings that have some uh, users assigned to them. Now, what I can do is I can uh, select also these five buildings here and say, okay, these buildings will be created in 2027. And now what will happen is that they will uh, be hidden. And why they have been hidden is because we are still in 2025. You can see that this is reflected also in uh, numbers here. Okay, this, let's go with this one, with these two. Actually, this will be um, 2025. And then this will be 2027. Okay, then it's hidden. So um, right now, we can see that if I go here to 2024, nothing is visible here. So meaning that also the data that we see for this city block uh, is not there. So everything is zero because nothing is there. Now in 2025, you can see the first buildings appear and how they affect or how much they uh, contribute to the floor area ratio, site coverage and other numbers. And now you, you see always that we have this assessed investment here and income. They are not uh, defined because no building, no uses that we have here have this defined by default. So I'll just go here and add some residential numbers. So let's go with 100, uh, 900 and 100 to 1200. And then for the, let's go with the hotel, maybe 1100 and 1500. So you can see that instantly those numbers are being updated. And then again, if I if I change the building here, you can see this also affects those numbers instantly. But let's move back just a moment, something like that. Okay, back to the survey. In here, you can see that then in 2027, the numbers and the 3D model again updates itself to show you the new new numbers. So right now the FAR is 0. Point now, then in 2027, it will be 2.1. Now, one key concept here or something to understand is that modeler only calculates you what you see in your model. So if the buildings are hidden in your model, uh, they will not be part of the calculation. So this way you can quickly create uh, either the phasing or even work out on different design options. So